What's going on guys, Cal here with Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an annotation or a subscribe button in your YouTube video. So now this works for if you want to direct someone to your channel, if you want to direct someone to a video, or if you want someone to subscribe to your channel, this works for all three of those. And basically what they do is it ultimately lets you get more views and subscribers on your YouTube channel. So now, first off, what you want to do is go into Video Manager by clicking on the little gear here in the top right hand corner and then on the Video Manager in the top left. Now once you're in your Video Manager, just go ahead and find the video that you want to add the annotation to or the subscribe button. Basically it's an annotation, that's what um, I'm going to be using to create it, but um, it's still a subscribe button, whatever you want to call it. So find that video and then right underneath the title of the video it'll say Edit. And just go ahead and click on Edit and that will take you to all the different system um, stuff that you can edit in your video itself. So now this video is just a one that I just made, the custom YouTube thumbnails with no partnership. Definitely rec recommend checking it out if you have the time. But anyway, on with the video. At the top of this bar, it'll say Info and Settings, Enhancements, Audio, Annotations, and Captions. Go ahead and click on Annotations, and it'll bring up the Annotation Editor, which is what we're going to use to create the Subscribe button, or the Channel button, or the Video button, whatever you want to, what, whichever you choose. There are a couple different options, as I'll show you later in the video. So now, what happens first off is that the video will start from the beginning. What I recommend is if you're creating a subscribe button, I recommend starting the video, or starting the annotation, sorry, at around 10 seconds to the end of your video. So just go ahead and click on that bar there, and it'll drag, make sure this bar at the bottom here is around relatively the same time as in the bar up here. That's where your annotation is going to start. Now you can have it start from the beginning if you want, but I recommend the end, the last 10 seconds or so, just because sometimes, I know me personally, if there's an annotation throughout the whole video, it's kind of distracting and can get annoying and can lead to dislikes on your videos. So I definitely recommend just the last 10 seconds. Now, once you've had that, and this is where your video is going to start, go ahead at the top here, it'll say add annotation. So click on that and it'll give you a couple options, speech bubble, note, title, spotlight, label, pause. Go ahead and click on Spotlight, which is what we're going to use. I believe you can also use Title and a couple others, but Spotlight seems to me at least the most effective in making a subscribe button. So now go ahead and drag that box to the bottom right hand corner. I definitely recommend a corner, it doesn't really matter which one. I do the right, bottom right, you can do bottom left, doesn't even matter, whatever. So now, once you're there, you'll have two boxes. You'll have this box right here, which is kind of solid. You'll see if I drag it over something, it's a little bit solid, it's a little transparent. But um, anyway, it's more or less a solid box. Now, the, the one on the right here is the transparent, completely transparent one with nothing in the middle. This is where they're going to click, and it'll take them to that video or your channel or the subscribe subscription page, whatever you want. So basically make that box a little bit bigger, maybe like um, this big, and then take this box, the second box here, and click and drag, make it about, uh, about a third of that size. And Now, to add text to this, which will say subscribe here or check out my latest video, You'll just go to here, which will say Spotlight, and then directly underneath it will be a box, and you just click on that box and type in whatever you want it to say. I'm just going to say Test, or actually I'll say Subscribe. Subscribe here, that sounds about right. You can make it say whatever you want, something catchy to get the, uh, the viewer to click on that box. Now here you'll have it, this is the Subscribe here, which it will say there. Now you can actually change the font, I recommend maybe like a 16, eh, 13, something like that. And once you're done with that, you can actually change the color of it if you want. You can change it to a red, a blue, a green. Red is the most effective at grabbing the readers or the viewers, sorry, attention. However, that can be kind of distracting from the content of the actual video itself and can also lead to dislikes. So I prefer with just kind of a darker gray, something like that. Now, once you're done with that, this will see the start and end times of your video. Uh, what I would do is I would choose the link, which is right here, kind of obvious. Once you click on link, check that little box there, and it'll show up with the different options for where you want to put the video or the clickable link. Now here you'll have video, playlist, channel, subscribe, and fundraising project. Yeah, the last one is just a new new feature that they added a little while ago, but I'm going to be focusing on the subscribe button. The ones that will get you the most views and subscribers is the subscribe button, the channel button, and the video button. Those are the three most used ones throughout YouTube, in my opinion. Now, once you've clicked whichever one you do, I'm doing a subscribe button, it'll ask you to enter a YouTube username to subscribe to, or a YouTube channel, or anything like that, um, if you clicked any of those options. Now, to enter your YouTube username, uh, pretty simple. <laughs> but the one thing that I would say that you should do is hit the little preview link, which is right here, and it'll take you to your subscription page. The reason I say that is because I've seen so many people 
add a subscribe button or anything like that, and then have it type it in wrong, have one letter missing, and have it take the viewer to a whole other channel that's not related to them at all, and it'll get them more views but won't get you more views, so I definitely recommend hitting preview link to make sure that it is, in fact, your channel. Now, once you've done that, that's pretty much it. Now, the one thing I would recommend is it'll make it default is about that long, which is like a, a second or two seconds. Definitely dr click and drag that box to the end of your video since we're doing the last 10 seconds, or however long, that's how you basically edit the length of it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you put the subscribe button in your video. Now, it should save automatically, but if it doesn't, just hit cl click save at the top there and then publish. Once it's published, you can view the video here and basically click on that to make sure that it's all good, everything's happened, uh, it's, it's live, and all that good stuff. Now you can see here, here as it is, this is the little gray box, and when I mouse over it, it'll say subscribe here, and basically I click on that, and it takes me straight to my subscription page. So that's pretty much it, that's how to get a subscribe channel or a video link directly into your YouTube videos, which will ultimately lead to more views and subscribers. So thanks for watching guys, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.